let's play around with the expansion of 1 plus x to the power n a bit more. Put x equal to iota in this expansion and we get 1 plus iota whole to the power n equals c0 plus c1 iota plus c2 iota square plus c3 iota cube plus c4 iota to the power 4 and so on. Simplifying this we would get c0 plus c1 iota minus c2 minus c3 iota plus c4 and so on. Separating the real and imaginary parts we get c0 minus c2 plus c4 and so on alternate plus n minus sign plus iota c1 minus c3 plus c5 and so on again alternate plus and minus signs now let's try and put x equal to minus iota and see what happens to this expansion it would become 1 minus iota whole to the power n equals c0 plus c1 times minus iota plus c2 times minus iota whole square plus c3 times minus iota whole cube plus c4 times minus iota times whole to the power 4 and so on. Simplifying this we get c0 minus c1 iota minus c2 plus c3 iota plus c4 and so on. Separating the real and imaginary parts we get c0 minus c2 plus c4 and so on minus iota c1 minus c3 plus c5 and so on now if i were to take this equation as number one and this equation as number two and if i were to calculate one plus two divided by two let's see what we get we would have one plus iota to the power n plus one minus iota to the power n divided by 2 on the left hand side whereas the imaginary parts would cancel out and we would have on the right hand side c0 minus c2 plus c4 minus c6 and so on. Now we know that we can write 1 plus iota as root 2 into e to the power iota pi by 4 and 1 minus iota as root 2 into e to the power minus iota pi by 4. Putting these values on the left hand side, we get root 2 into e to the power iota pi by 4 whole to the power n plus root 2 into e to the power minus iota pi by 4 whole to the power n by 2. I can solve this further and expand the exponential terms to cancel out the imaginary mm. parts and finally get my left hand side as 2 to the power n by 2 into cos pi by 4 which equals c0 minus c2 plus c4 minus c6 and so on. So basically the sum of the even binomial coefficients with alternate plus and minus signs is given as 2 to the power n by 2 cos pi by 4. In a similar way we can find out the sum of the odd binomial coefficients with alternate plus and minus signs that is c1 minus c3 plus c5 and so on. This is left as an exercise for the student to accomplish.